right, so I got a little coffee in me, it's starting to perk up here. Just had a real light breakfast, just a little cup of yogurt and a banana. I'm running really low on groceries and food, so I need to stop at this grocery store. So I'm making up a list. When I'm out here in these areas where there's very few grocery stores, I gotta be really sure to get the things that I need. Uh, because if I forget something, it's gonna be, you know, a little ways till the next door. It's been beautiful here. I would just love to stay here another week, but they do have a five day camping limit and uh, there's been a few maintenance guys that have come through the last couple days and I just don't wanna uh, push it and have any problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out of here, probably about a half hour, just get the few things that I need to packed up and organized. I keep my camp really simple. So basically outside, I just have a chair, a table, and my water jug. So I'll just move those in the van. Yeah, secure a few things down in here, like my stove, and uh, I put a bungee core in my drawer set up here so those don't open up. And I'm pretty much ready to roll, super easy. again it's got a couple miles up till we hit the interstate 90 we'll be heading west got about 40 miles till I hit the little town of Draper where there's a grocery store so not much driving today at all I love it love being able to camp somewhere for five days and then my next camp is only like a 45 minute drive away it's awesome Okay, this is one of those turns that turns through the middle of a highway. There's a sign here, Nielsen Ranch. One and a half miles. God bless the veterans. All right, so I'm actually seeing a sign here. It's a welcome sight. There's this 234 marker. General information, a little map of the area. Motor vehicle use maps, free, please take one. I might come back and check that out. No garbage service, please pack it out. Information on camping and hunting. Yeah. There's the pond right straight ahead. Water looks pretty clean actually. Now the grass is a little overgrown here. I'm um, I'm not sure if that's the area I'm supposed to pull off and camp in, so I'm just gonna drive around and see. Been doing some fishing there. Well, I'm not the only one out here. Has just pulled off in his SUV, He's hanging out fishing. I'm continuing, there was a little, that road I just took was kind of a little loop and not really a lot of spots to pull off for camp. This is a dead end. So this might pretty much be my camp spot right here. All right, so I've been hanging out at this Richmond Dam recreation area. It's actually really beautiful here. I mean, as soon as I pulled in, I was just in awe of like, wow, these trees and the pond there. Um, but as far as camping, it is free. There's uh, really no amenities whatsoever. I saw a porta potty on the way in, but uh, the way it's set up, like the last place I was at at Lake Byer, is there's just a dirt road coming in, and then you're just supposed to pull off in the open grass areas and just camp wherever you please. But unfortunately, here, most of the grass areas, actually all of the grass areas, are pretty overgrown. They haven't been mowed for a while. And um, so I'm basically just camped right in the road. And I'm just not really feeling it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just pack up and head out of here. For me, setting up camp is so easy, setting up and breaking down that it's really no big deal. I am glad that I came out here so now I, I know what this place is all about. Uh, you know, if it, you're just coming out here for a day like the fella that's here just to fish, um, 
I think it would be a good place for that. But for somebody like me, I'm kind of looking for a place to camp for a good few days. And I just don't see myself sticking it out here for a few days with all the bugs and just kind of being parked in the middle of the road here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the drone up in the air so we can get a good aerial shot and see what this place really looks like. So we're heading out of here. This was a cool spot to come explore, but as far as camping here for more than a night or even two, just not feeling it. And that's the beauty of all this is I got the freedom. So you can see straight ahead, there's all this open area here. Maybe if you drive through this thick stuff, it looks not quite as tall a grass but overall I'm still just not feeling it and that's totally okay fortunately there, there's another spot that's not too far from here it's early in the afternoon and I'm just out cruising anyway no set plans no commitments fortunately there, there's another spot right on the Missouri River I think it's only 15, 20 miles from here. Okay, so we are just about to cross the Missouri River. There's a bridge right here, and there's this other probably railroad bridge off to the left, those old steel, really cool looking bridges. We are approaching the weekend, so there'll probably be some crowds here. That's all right with me, no problem with that. I've been isolated for a little bit. I don't mind mingling with some other campers. So this is a city park that allows uh, overnight camping, I believe, for up to five days. So I just may end up spending five days here. We'll see. Okay, this is it here. Crow Street welcomes you to Griffin Park. That's it like a lot of day use area but there's supposed to be it looks like a swimming beach off to the right perfect yes 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 yeah nice swimming area oh heck yeah I'd have to stop and read some signage here okay so I've kind of mellowed out a little bit I was a little frazzled when I first showed up here uh, went for a swim actually been in the water a few times here already it's just very, very refreshing. The water here is a lot cooler than the lake I was at last over at Byer Lake. So the parking lot just adjacent here, it's just a uh, asphalt parking lot with pull-in spots and hookups and it's $16 a night. Now if you tent camp, it's completely free and apparently this parking lot that I'm in right here is the parking lot you park your vehicle and then you walk over and set up camp. It's not like car camping where you pull your car into the campsite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and park in the parking lot where the tent campers park and not really set up a camp. Um, you know, I'm not trying to like pull anything, but I, you know, I'm not going to go over here and pay $16 to park in an asphalt parking lot. I'm not going to be using the hookups. If I have people can park here and go set up a tent, why shouldn't I be able to park here and just sleep in my van for free? like these people that can park over here and then just go sleep for free in their tent. So to me it makes complete sense. There are no rules and regulations stating that that's not okay. There's no no parking signs or anything. There's been quite a few police officers in SUVs that have driven by and they just driven right by. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stay here. You know if I get a knock in the evening which I really doubt I will get. Um, I'll just explain that I was under the impression that it's free camping. 